I like to rephrase anti-aging as something called slowing down the aging process. A lot of my clients of all ages, women, men, they ask me about anti-aging. I'll tell you this, look at someone that's aging 40 years above you and find out what's going on with their body, their mind, their psychological process and their physique and their muscle tone and then take steps back and ask yourself, okay, what have you learned? What should you be doing? Do you understand? So figure that out. In my opinion, in my professional opinion as a fitness expert, anti-aging is really slowing down aging. That means great posture, great muscle tone, energy, strength, a decent metabolic rate, of course, that's important. And most of all, a zest for life. I'm a big, big fan and believer of strength training. Basically, what you're doing is training your body and your mind in harmony together to get stronger. You can do that with resistance training, you can do that with weight training, you can do that with band training. The bottom line is your muscle has to be stimulated and your cognitive factors have to be stimulated. That means your brain has to be focused at any one given time, lifting a particular type of weight or a particular load of weight where you are literally focused and struggling with it. Asking your body, asking your muscular system to be stimulated and to grow. Is there such a thing called spot reduction, spot toning? I get asked that a lot and I'll be honest with you, there's no such thing as spot reduction. When I newly entered the personal training business, I was taught that there's no spot reduction because we, as a human being, as a whole, lose fat at, on a systematic level. That means my entire body is going to lose fat on a systematic level as a whole. Okay? However, there's some good news out there. There is something called spot toning. For example, right, if I want to develop and stimulate bicep growth, I can do certain exercises to de uh, develop that or stimulate that. If my female clients want to develop or tone their hamstrings, back of the legs, that's a very, very, very uh, common question I'm asked by my female clients. They could do hamstring curls or squats or bridges. There's tons of exercises. So I do believe that spot toning exists, but spot reduction does not exist. If anyone else out there has found a, another solution to that, please reach out to me. For me personally, fitness has always been a mental thing first. What it puts me through, how I feel, the barriers that I, come, that I overcome, what I teach to my clients, my students, it's always a mental and an emotional thing. If you ask any athlete, it's a mental and an emotional thing. If you ask Arnold Schwarzenegger, someone that I admire for what he's done in life, always a mental and emotional thing. I'll tell you one thing right now. There is research out there, plus what I see in my field, that a person who exercises, and particularly I'm a big fan of high intensity training, strength training, muscle building, muscle activation, these type of exercises that require mind and emotional focus along with the body's physical stress, they're a lot more confident, a lot happier, they have a higher self-esteem, and they're just a lot more, they just have a lot more zest in life. And it's right there, try it for yourself. Go out there, do some push-ups. Go out there, do some squats. Go out there, do some resistance training. Go out there and learn how to do high intensity training. You're gonna know that it instantly improves your mood. Endorphins, serotonin, all that scientific stuff, okay? The proof is right there. Go try it.